All right, time to show you guys my Nintendo Wii collection. I'm also going to uh, insert my Wii U collection because there's only a couple games for that uh, into this video for uh, 2023. I guess we'll we'll say even though it's 2024, but uh, my 2023 collection here. Uh, I'll probably do an updated collection, you know, at the end of at the end of this year for 2024. Uh, first game is Academy of Champions Soccer. Uh, pretty interesting arcade like uh, soccer game with like a story mode kind of like a Hogwarts Academy that you go to it's a very interesting game it's pretty good I haven't played it in a long time but uh, it's pretty cool here's like a sleeper hit Alice in Wonderland for the Wii this is a pretty good game uh, considering you know it's a licensed game I'm a big fan of Alice in Wonderland and this is a pretty darn good game Next up we have Alien Monster Bowling League. It looks ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But uh, I actually really like this game. It's a lot of fun. I did a tournament uh, with friends once in this game. It's a, it's a good time. If you like Wii Bowling, you'll probably like Alien Monster Bowling League. Uh, we have the Ant Bully. I have not tried this game yet. This was a thrift store pickup from Midway. Uh, here's like a... Holy Grail, it's a uh, Parby as the Island Princess, of course. Uh, everybody's got this in their collection. Surprisingly, this is not the worst Wii game that I own. And I will tell you guys what that is a little bit later. Uh, next up we have Cars 2 for the Wii, the Disney one. We got Cooking Mama Cook Off. I love Cooking Mama. Recent pickup, Crash of the Titans. I haven't tried this one yet. Looking forward to that. We have Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleash. This game is quite terrible. Uh, it starts off alright, but then it just gets worse as it goes. I don't know. Could have been decent, but wasn't. Uh, we have a really cool game here, Endless Ocean. This is a neat game. Wanted to explore the ocean. Put that game in. Next we have Epic Mickey, which is a classic on the Wii. Can't go wrong with this game right here. If you have a Wii, this is uh, one of the games you're going to want. We have Excite Truck. Another one. I haven't tried this one yet. This was a recent pickup for a couple dollars. Uh, looks pretty fun. I've heard it's not that bad. We have GoldenEye 007 for the Wii which was a uh, kind of a remake of the old one, but not really. I think it was like all new, there's all new uh, missions and stuff in this game. It's kind of like a reimagining of the old GoldenEye. We got Goosebumps Horrorland, pretty neat game. They combine a lot of the Goosebumps books in there and uh, you know, you wander around the theme park, it's like filled with the mini games. It's pretty fun. We have Disney's Guilty Party next. Guilty Party. This is an interesting game. It's like Mario Party meets Clue. You know, you're trying to solve a mystery. It's up to four players, and um, there's like mini games to help solve the clues and to unlock things and, and everything. It's pretty interesting. Not bad. Hello Kitty Seasons. Uh, another classic, of course. This is like uh, Animal Crossing, kind of, but a much dumbed down version of it uh, I don't know I tried it one night in a stream it was uh, it was boring I guess you could say it was boring it wasn't the worst thing this however is the worst Wii game that I own and it is kids sports basketball this game's terrible controls awful gameplay's bad it's boring graphics are stupid it's just hours of fun it says on the back here, right, if I can get that in camera, there we go. Hours of fun. There's nothing fun about this game. It is bad. I thought it was going to be like a decent arcade like basketball game, you know? I wasn't expecting NBA Jam, but I was like, yeah, this can't be that bad. I found it for a dollar. But it is terrible. Now for one of my favorite Wii games, Kirby's Epic Yarn. This is a, a must-own again on the Wii, if you have a Wii. Such an awesome game. Uh, my favorite, probably my favorite Kirby game. I've ever played. I love that game. Alright, let me get this other stack in here. 
Next we have Lego Batman. Uh, I'm not too big on the Lego games. I have a couple of them, but I haven't played this one yet. I mean, they're all right. I think Lego games are fun, but I gotta be in the mood to play these because a lot of them are kind of just the same type of gameplay, so uh, nothing crazy. I'm sure that one's not bad. Next up we have Lord of the Rings Aragorn's Quest. This was a pickup this year. Uh, I, I've been wanting this game for a long time. I know it sounds stupid, but my brother and I always made fun of this because it looked just awful. And I'm sure that it's going to be awful as far as Lord of the Rings games go. Lord of the Rings Aragorn's Quest. I'll have to dive into that some night. Uh, here's a good one. Mario Strikers Charged. Big, big fan of the Mario Strikers series. I already talked about it in my GameCube uh, collection. This one, probably the worst of the three Strikers games, but it's still really good. This is still a must-own on the Wii. Um, hours and hours of fun on that one. Next we have Mini Clip Sushi Go Round. This is an interesting game where it's kind of like, I don't want to say overcooked, but in a way, you're like trying to make people sushi as it comes along. It's really hard. It's a pretty fast pace, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Not bad. Here's another horrible game, and that's Eminem's Kart Racing. Uh, you think, oh, Kart Racer, probably not that bad, but to control in this game, as you can see there, it just uses a Wii Remote. Let me get to focus on that, no. But you literally hold the Wii Remote like this, and you have to tilt it like this to steer. Now, whoever bright idea it was to do that probably isn't working on games anymore. Cause that was uh, it's so hard to steer in the game when you gotta tilt the Wii remote around like this to steer, as opposed to just like pointing it, like waving it back and forth would have been better, but like actually tilting it, yeah, it's so bad. And not even be able to use like the joystick or the nunchuck, like so stupid. It's, it makes it impossible to drive. Next we have Monster High Goal Spirit. Surprisingly, not the worst thing ever. Uh, this game's I get pretty boring. I did play through it. Um, as you guys can see, I play pretty much every kind of game. Uh, I said not the worst thing. It was very boring. I don't know. It was easy. Just stupid for a couple hours. Uh, NCAA Football 09 All Play. Got a little college football on there with the uh, Michigan State Spartan. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, another must own on the Wii. A fantastic game. A really good side scrolling Mario game. Uh, I think it's still kind, kind of underrated, that game. We have NHL 2K11. Not very good on the Wii. Let's just say that. Try this one out. It uh, doesn't have the best of controls. With Ryan Kessler on the, on the front of it. We have Open Season from Ubisoft. I have not tried this game yet. No idea what that's going to be like. Here's one I still haven't played. I need to play this. Uh, Red Steel. This one always looked pretty cool. I just haven't haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Uh, no, I didn't get this when it came out or anything. I found this in a thrift store and picked it up. But um, yeah, Red Steel. Heard that one's pretty good. Next we have the classic uh, Red o Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, probably the shortest game you'll ever play. I do like the old animation. To give me something to play during Christmas time. A lot of people probably don't even know that game exists. Here is another Mustone on the Wii, and it's Silent Hill Shatter Memories. This game continues to go up in price. I think this was also released on the PS2, but this is the version you want, surprisingly. Uh, this is a fantastic Wii game. It works really well. You use the Wii Remote as a flashlight. Uh, the Wii Remote also is used in other ways. In in terms of like spirits contacting you it's like a phone so you hear like people talking out of it to the speaker it's just it's such an immersive game to play through um i started many playthroughs of this but i actually finished one on the channel i think it was last year we did it um we played it during uh, zero ween and it was um it was a lot of fun it's not a, not a long game but it's uh, definitely really good uh Underrated, I think. This is a really good Silent Hill game. Definitely one to, to check out. You know, hit the lights. 
cozy on up and play that, you'll have a good time exploring. Sonic Colors, an awesome Sonic game. Not the uh, remake, but of course the original version, the better version. We have Sonic Unleashed. This one I have not tried yet. I've heard this one's okay at best, but we'll see how that is. This was also, I think this was released on GameCube as well. At least. Uh, we have Spider-Man 3. I tried this out one night. And it was really bad. <laughs> I couldn't control anything. Terrible controls. I haven't streamed it or anything. I just kind of threw it in for a couple minutes to see how it played. And it, not good. Spider-Man 3. Next we have the Super Mario All-Stars 25th anniversary. This thing's really cool. I bought this way back when it came out. And it has like a, a CD soundtrack in there. It's got the history of Mario Brothers. It's got a book in there. And a physical copy of... Super Mario All-Stars for the Wii, which of course has all the old Mario games from the Nintendo era, including 1, 2, 3, and the Lost Levels. My friend and I remember playing through the Lost Levels in this game. It took us forever. Such a hard game. But a really cool little thing to have. You know, I still prefer playing Mario Brothers the original way on NES rather than the All-Star versions, but with the updated, updated graphics, but these are still fun and a really cool thing to have. We got Super Mario Galaxy, really, you know, if you have a Wii, you probably have this game. Super Mario Galaxy and Superior Mario Galaxy 2. Both really good games, but not some of my favorites in the mainline Mario games, to be honest. They're good, but I think the camera kind of disorients me quite a bit playing these at times. That kind of throws me off. Next we have Tangled. Uh, not a bad game. It's alright, you know, it's pretty fun. I beat it all in one stream. You know, years back. It's it's not bad. We have uh, Titanic, Secrets of the Fateful Voyage. This is an interesting point-and-click adventure game. So if you like those kind of games. Um, I played some of this before. I haven't streamed it yet. It's, it's pretty cool. You, know, you go around the ship, you, t you, know, you check out you know, what's going on with the characters and you try to figure out what's going on there. I think you're trying to help spirits and stuff too. So it's kind of like a horror aspects as well. No, very cool, very cool game. Uh, and last we have Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, which um, I haven't tried this one out yet. This was another thrift store buy. We have a few more, a couple more Wii games. Including, of course, Wii Sports. You have to have Wii Sports, obviously. You got that one. And then we have Martian Panic. Uh, this one didn't have like an actual box. This came in like a big box with like a adapter for a gun. I don't have the gun anymore, but you don't even need it to play the game. Uh, so it's got this little slipcase and then the manual. This is an awesome uh, rail shooter for anybody that's fans of rail shooters. I've had a lot of fun with this game growing up. Uh, really, really cool game. I don't know, I just thought it was one of the coolest things I played when it came out. I felt like I was at the arcade. And that's it for the Wii collection. Those are all my Wii games. I know you, I don't have Mario Kart on the Wii. I know it's surprising, but I just, my family owned it. My brothers and I kind of played it together. I never owned a, a version of it myself, but one day maybe I'll pick that up. But let's get into my very, very quick Wii U collection, and that's Sonic Lost World. Probably actually one of my favorite Sonic games, if I'm being honest. Good game. We've got Zombie U as well. And Yoshi's Woolly World, the, uh, the Green Yarn Yoshi Edition. So it comes with this little green Yoshi. Physical game inside as well. So really, really cool. Uh, this is an awesome game too. Much like the Crafted World on the, on the Switch. And that's it. That's all my Wii U games, guys. That's all I have. Again, it was kind of a shared system growing up. I don't have one of my own, but I have a couple games. One day I'll get a Wii U and probably start collecting more games for that to play. So I figured I'd just throw them in there. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next uh, collection video. Until next time, zero is the number.